Miss Philippines Earth is brought to you by Hella Shampoo, Miss Earth Foundation, and Kitco Travel and Tours. She stands tall and majestic, admired by all. Her outstretched arms give comfort and shelter to the downcast. Her resiliency is beyond question, rising above challenges and adversities. She is firm with her beliefs and conviction and takes pride of her roots and culture. She gives life. She gives joy. She is a creation of beauty. It's such a wonder how simply looking at a tree can unravel the mysteries of being a woman. Dome in Toledo City, Cebu. Carousel Productions proudly presents Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Oh. Oh. Bye. 
Lina, hey, Ramos, Guaydanos, Pantuca, Lava de Oro. Jemima, Joy, Zabala, Puerto Princesa City. Princess Fredonia Lazaga, San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. Chica, Saberica, Di Matata, San Pascual, Batangas. Shaina Nazaria, Silan Cavite. Athena, Claire, Auxilia, the joyful city of Toledo! Jamie, Angela, Karate, Armada, Toborad, Cebu! Quinzel, Daryl, Batuiga, Salasco, Tungawan, Zamboanga, Cebu, guys! Pernizuli, Silal, from the Asia's Latin city! Zambuanga! Welcome, Kappa Media star and award-winning TV host, Robbie Domingo. Thank you so much. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kappa Amelia all over the earth. Toledo, City, Maio, Gabi. Wow, what a crowd. Really great to have you with us here on this very festive night when one lifelong dream will be fulfilled. This is a festival like no other because we will be giving you face, figure, and a genuine love for our environment. My question is, are you ready? <laughs> Let's get this party on the road. This is Miss Philippines Earth 2023! Brought to you by Hella Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. Here on MPE 2023, and I am sure everyone will agree when I say that Cebu is a powerhouse in beauty pageants. Yes, of course. And just to prove to everyone tonight, joining me is not one, but two Cebuanas who gave pride to the Philippines in the world of pageantry. So without further ado, let's all give a warm Toledo City welcome to Miss Earth 2008, Carla Henry, and Miss Earth 2014, Jamie Harrell. Oh wow, what a sight. Believe me when I say this, I am the luckiest guy in the world right now. You are the luckiest I guy. Am, I am, I am. You're pretty lucky right you're now. Pretty lucky, guys. <laughs> uh, before anything else, we'd love to greet everyone in the Megadome. And you know what? I'm going to teach you how to greet them. Okay. You will say, Maayong Gabi, Toledo City. Maayong Gabi, Toledo City. Oh, okay. Jamie? Yes, Maayong Gabi, Kaninyo Tanan. Excited kayo mo So yes, 
thank you very much for having us tonight. It's not only good to be back here in Toledo, but at the same time to be on stage here for Miss Philippine Surf. That's true, and we were just talking a while ago. Totoo yung sinasabi nila, basta Cebuana guapa. Oo. Ay, hindi ako mag-ano dyan. Dili ko mulalis. Meaning, hindi ako makikipag-contra sa'yo. Ibig sabi ko totoo. I'm spitting out facts. And you know what? We really are proud because in Cebu, we are the queen of the South. Oh, okay. The queen of the South. And you know, Robbie, earlier you saw our delegates in their very colorful cultural attire representing the various regions of the country. And together with our reigning queen, Jenny Ramp, and the award-winning Toledo City Dance Company, setting a very festive vibe for tonight's grand event. What a festive opening, of course. And later in the show, we'll be announcing our top three winners of the best in cultural attire. But first, we have to take care of some serious business. Yeah, I mean, as much as we Woo. want to keep all the delegates on stage, we need to make way for the ladies who ace the preliminary judging and we'll move on to the competition. All right, you know what they say, the first cut is always the deepest. So right now, it's time to meet this year's top 15, ladies. I have the list with me, Toledo City, are you ready? In random order, first to make it through is... Toburan Cebu! Take your place, Sinuloa Laguna, Iliana Maria Duana. Third person in the top 15 is Sambuanga City for Mizuli Silal. Congratulations, you're part of our list. Ilo Ilo City, Maria Cristina Taliador. Another lucky lady joins them and she's from the Filipino community of Melbourne, Australia. Ciao, really boring. Up next, we have Carascal Surigal del Sur, Cristel May Correos. He's lucky number seven in our list. Congratulations. Puerto Princesa City, Jemima Joyce Abala. Halfway done, and it's Miss San Pascual Batangas. Jacob Zaverica de Matata. Up next, we have San Jose City, Princess Lazaga. This might be your night. Please step forward. The Polo City, Casey Falgas Santos. Another lady joining them is from Balayan, Batangas, Mary Lazil Relevo. Congratulations, Manga Naturan, Pangasinan, Kerry Riley. Twelve down, 
three more to go. And you are part of our list. Tagig City, Seya de Jesus. Two slots remain, and one of them belongs to the Filipino community from Milan, Italy, Queenie Salas. Last but not the least, I believe all of you will agree with me. Taking the top 15 spot is Toledo City, Athena Asalio. Ladies and gentlemen, your top 15 in this year's Miss Philippines Earth 20. 23, congratulations. Now this has the makings of another competition that would go down the wire. It's a whole new ball game for these ladies and anything is possible from this point on. That's true. Yes. You know, I think everybody here and everybody watching at home should activate their beauty queen radar because the first round of competition is around the corner. It is activated right now. The race for the crown is on. So don't skip a beat. We'll be right back. Your top 15. Brought to you by 
Hella Shampoo and Ever Belena Cosmetics. This Philippines Earth has always been known for giving its delegates a pageant experience like no other. It's a mix of fun, learning, and above all, giving back to Mother Earth. Let's take a look at what kept these ladies busy before heading out to Toledo City. The 2023 Miss Philippines Earth season kicked off with a virtual meet and greet that gave pageant followers a first glimpse at this year's lovely Earth advocates. The ladies then presented their chosen trees in line with this year's theme before taking the hot seat in the Intelligence and Environmental Awareness Preliminary Judging. Not a year goes by without a delegate's taking part in the annual Earth Hour, spearheaded by Greenpeace Philippines and the Department of Environmental Services of Makati City. Leading the series of seminars was a crash course on financial literacy entitled Projecting the Future by Congressman Jose Manuel Alba. Second was this year's environmental session, where delegates were briefed about eco-concepts and urgent issues facing the Philippine environment today. Lastly, the beauty experts of Gandang Rique Reyes shared the latest trend in makeup to enhance and project one's good looks. The delegates then trooped to Tatalon, Quezon City for a meaningful celebration with My Birthday Foundation and Gawad Kalinga. This was followed by a culturally enriching tour of the National Museum and Intramuros. With the finals night in sight, the ladies took time to learn a few tips on how to have a winning personality before facing the members of the press and pageant vloggers during the media presentation at Lime Resort, Manila. Educating the young minds has always been a priority in Miss Philippines Earth. Included in their itinerary were visits to Kamuning Elementary School, Sauyu High School, San Juan National High School, and Cavite Institute in Silang, Cavite. The delegates also took a moment to spend quality time with the kids of Nayanang Kabataan and Child House in Manila. Time came for the delegates to unleash their skills and creativity during the talent competition at Tikme Dime. Not long after, they faced another panel of experts at the Cove Okada Manila in another round of preliminary judging highlighting beauty of face, fitness, and poise. The heat was on in Talakad Bukidnon, where the delegates sizzled in the swimsuit competition, but they did not depart without participating in their environmental activities. Finally, it was time for a two-day eco-immersion in the province of Antique. Hosted by no less than environmental vanguards, Senate President Pro Tempore, Lauren Legarda and Congressman A.A. Legarda over a month of meaningful and relevant activities. That's the Miss Philippines Earth Experience. The Miss Philippines Earth Experience. Wow. Well, we just had a glimpse at the Miss Philippines Earth journey of our delegates and uh, would love to give special thanks to the good Senator Lauren Legarda and Kong A.A. Legarda for supporting Miss Philippines Earth's cause. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Now the adventure continues right here at the Toledo City Megadome in front of this jam-packed crowd and in the presence of our distinguished individuals who will be choosing this year's deserving winner. Ladies and gentlemen, our panel of judges. First up, our first judge is a concert producer, talent manager, and managing director of primetime events and talent management. We got Mr. Mario Colmenares. Good to have you, sir. We love the ranch, the best. <laughs> up next, we got a multi-awarded international designer, a master of his craft, Cebu's pride, the master couturier, Mr. Harry Santiago. Thank you so much for being here. Right now, we got an international performer and one of the singing divas of Cebu. We got Miss Mabel Padillo. I love that smile. <laughs> Thank you. From Peerless Products Manufacturing Corporation, makers of Hana Shampoo, we got Marketing Director, Mr. Kaloy Bakani. Long time no see, boss. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we got a true beauty for a cause who clinched the Miss Earth crown with her wit and charm. 
We love your aura. We love you so much. We got Miss Earth 2019, Nellis Pimentel. Thank you for saying yes to us. Maraming salamat. Right now, we got a New York-based producer and film director who has produced, get this, 18 shows on Broadway, an advocate for the environment, a TOIM and presidential awardee, and the first and only Filipino with three Tony Awards and a Grammy. We got one of my idols, Mr. Jet Tolentino. It's a pong karangalan, a privilege to have you here. Thank you. And last but not least, a trailblazer in the pageant industry, a beauty queen turned actress, turned TV producer, turned our mom. One of the founders of the Miss Earth and Miss Philippines Earth pageants. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Miss Lorraine Shoop. We love you, mom. Thank you. And good luck to all of our judges. I know yours is not the easiest job in tonight's event. So, best of luck. Now, coming right up, the top 15 will captivate everyone in their sizzling swimsuit. That and more when we return. This is Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and E. Cooter Philippines. Okay, Carla, I have this wonderful question for you. All right, okay. I'm ready. How has this swimsuit competition evolved over the years in beauty pageant? Okay, kailangan mag-ready ako, di ba? Okay. okay, go. Thank you very much for that wonderful question. As far as Miss Earth Philippines Earth is concerned, the pageant looks beyond a delegate's vital stats. It's more on how she keeps fit and how she leads a healthy lifestyle. Because before you can take care of the earth, the people around you, you need to take care of yourself first. And I thank you. Oh <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Very well said, judges. Scores, please, for Miss Carla. Right? And <laughs> kaya kita idol idol. Now, before Carla wins the crown for the second time, <laughs> show some love to our top 15 in the fitness and form round. Here we go. Babanam kewalam, babanam kewalam, babanam kewalam, babanam kewalam. Baba nam ke walam, Baba nam ke walam, Baba nam ke walam, Baba nam ke walam. Construction and building infrastructures has contributed 50% of our world's pollution. The world will never stop building, but we could start building green. I advocate for hashtag build green. Witnessing our home at a hurt locker state is disheartening, yet People perpetually take but never take action. And as your queen for the earth, my cause to uphold the planet is earth education. Together, let us all make the green change happen. A united 
environmental workforce which will aim to leave a legacy in the pageant history. With Union of the People Echo Power, humanity still has the chance. If people are the cause, then people are the solution. As an eco-warrior for wellness, I care in taking the lead for the protection of our environment for a better tomorrow. Play corrupts our earth, single-use plastics. We run, it follows. So let's transform the behaviours and attitudes of our youth so we can amplify unity and ingrain sustainability from the seedlings of our earth so that they, our change makers tomorrow, can save the water today. Plastic bags that are disregarded after being used once are not only a wasteful use of resources but also a serious threat to marine life and that is why we should reduce our dependence on single-use plastic bags. <laughs> Caring for the next generation is like planting a seed of hope for a better tomorrow. By fostering early childhood environmental awareness, we're grooming little earth warriors committed to protecting our environment. <laughs> Together, let us do the five R's. Refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. Because more than just a vision, this is our mission for Zero Waste Philippines. We need to balance the needs of the ecosystem, the farmer, and the community. And for that, sustainable agriculture is the key. is a practical and attainable way of life that can significantly reduce our carbon footprint and help us live more meaningful lives. And that is why we should strive to own less and do more. <laughs> As stewards of this planet, join me in my advocacy of creating a sustainable home. Let's use biogas so we can combat global warming together. Pang 
Pangasinan! Reforestation, more specifically to plant Nara trees as they are in danger. I've collaborated with schools to join me in tree planting and I've also been encouraging the people in my village to come join me and clean the lake in my beautiful home. Here for over five years, I learned that change will not come if we wait for a savior. We need to take actions ourselves. This is why I made it my mission to empower people into realizing that we are the ones we've been waiting for. Filipino community, Milan, Italy. Working on overpopulation by empowering young women, embracing family planning, and together we can build a greener future. Because for me, building an ideal family is like building a sustainable environment. <laughs> on rebuilding nature and innovating for a green future. As we move to a more advanced and progressive Earth, we must learn to conserve, repair, and maintain the beauty of Mother Earth. Stage is on fire. Your top 15 in this year's Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Pretty ladies in a row wearing eye catching swimsuits exclusively by designer Ricky Abad. Beautiful, and I would also love to thank Game Over for setting the mood for this round of the competition LSS. LSS, Sobra. But you know, Robbie, the game is far from over. These ladies, as the battle. You know, the battlegrounds are just underway because they have another round of competition to undergo. I know. Who's in and who's out? We have more exciting revelations. When we return, don't go away. Brought to you by Hala Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. Welcome back to Miss Philippines Earth 2023. What a show we've seen our top 15. And I know everyone has their bets to our judges. You got the best seats in the house, but the hardest task of them all. And speaking of our judges, we'd love to acknowledge a self-made entrepreneur whose success story has been an inspiration for many, the founder and CEO of Makawas Beauty and Wellness OPC. We got Miss Anna Makawas. Thank you so much for being here, Miss Anna. All right. Now we all know that trees, or what trees are, we see them practically everywhere. But do we appreciate their value? Well, that's the reason why Miss Philippines Earth is putting the spotlight on our best weapon against climate change. 
Right now, let's listen to our delegates as they share interesting facts about their chosen trees. Watch this. By eating jackfruit, we increase demand to help farmers monetize the crop. This tree adapts to its environment. It can be planted in different kinds of soil. Raising public awareness and appreciation of the cotton tree's ecological and cultural values can also encourage conservation efforts. The features of the tree, due to its size, represent strength, progress, and generosity like a caring mother. Mangroves are trees that play a major role in the environment through their support of coastal and marine ecosystems. Serving also as a natural habitat for other species. To name a few, birds, they use it as their nesting area. The native trees are the ones that help in the recovery and expansion of natural life habitats for endangered species of plants and animals. The Talisay tree is vital for its role in environmental conservation. It is often used in reforestation projects. A life source of the coast, these salt-tolerant plants, locally known as bakau, have great ecological importance. I love how sweet and delicious is its fruit. Not only that, it is also good for the heart. It serves as a habitat for nurturing marine and coastal species, supports livelihood and ecotourism, and has benefits from its leaves to its roots. Mahogany trees are vital. They give oxygen, store carbon, stabilize the soil, and give life to the world wildlife. This tree can be applied in fisheries in a sustainable way. Its distinct box-shaped fruit is dispersed by ocean currents. I chose Nara trees because it symbolizes strength, persistence, endurance, and durability, just like us Filipinos. It symbolizes regeneration, perseverance, and integrity of Marivelenos over and denotes the stability and the beauty of Marivelas. It's a eucalyptus tree. It is made up of a large genus of 600 species, making it one of the most adaptable trees in Australian flora. Moringa is a fast-growing tree. This is also called as a miracle tree. From its root to its tiny leaves can be used as food and medicine. It has five aspects. Biodiversity, soil conservation, carbon sequestration, water conservation, and sustainable agriculture. The Puerto Princesa mother tree is indeed a reminder of the beauty and wonder of the natural world and has become a symbol of resilience and strength. We must learn to love and conserve the nata tree. Plant one if we can, even in our own backyards. We must join every effort to fight illegal life. Every part of the tree has its own medicinal value. And mango tree is an excellent material for furniture. Pine is one of the forest's most healing trees for the body and mind. It is known that the simple act of touching a pine tree can help you find inner balance and peace of mind. Coconut tree highly contributes not only to the country's economic development, but also to our environmental advancement. Sunny bubble trees are important to the environment, not only because they beautify a space, but also they provide good food for pollinators. It is considered to be one of the Philippines' traditional medicine. It is known to be a remedy to diabetes and also other benefits to human health. Its woods can be used for sliced and rotary veneers, tables, and the likes. It can also be used in light construction like bankas and rafters. This species is listed as near-threatened. Its humongous size and beauty is a fist to the eyes and I am left with awe at its grandeur. I have chosen to plant a bamboo tree because it symbolizes what women of the earth must be as we advocate for environmental causes.
Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. It's time to see the delegates, our beautiful delegates, dolled up in original creations of some of the country's talented designers. Oh, we just can't wait to see this. Let's light up the stage and make way for our delegates in their glamorous evening gowns. Wow. Well, what can we say? These ladies know how to rock the stage with their elegant presence. It's like we're in the Olympus of beauty right now. We got 15 goddesses. Right? And 16, totally including you. you. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> the number one goddess. Oh, uh, I'm definitely, just kidding. definitely. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what? I know they look like goddesses and they look so elegant. But behind that elegant stance are hearts beating fast because of what's about to happen. Well, we'll be narrowing down the competition to our top 10 delegates right now. As we call each semi-finalist, the judges will be giving their scores based on beauty and voice. Yes, may we call on Mr. Maynard Bonowen, partner of SGV and Company, our official tabulator, to hand us the list of the top 10. Thank you so much. Long time no see, Are you all see ready? All right. Ten. Let's ask a question once again. Are you all ready? Top 10! This is it, Toledo. Woo! In no particular order. First to make it to our top 10 is... Mangatare Pangasinan! Harry Riley! Taking the second spot, we have Filipino community Milan, Italy! Queenie Salak! She could be our next queen. Please step forward. Siniloa Laguna, Eliana Marie Aduana. Up next, we have the Polog City, Casey Palacasantos. Halfway mark, as we mentioned. Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia. Shuri Livori. Ilo, Ilo City! Maria Cristina Taliador. This is your moment. Toledo City! Athena of Celio.
two spots left, and you are part of our top 10. Puerto Princesa City, Semaima Joy Zapala. Last spot, last but not the least, goes to San Jose City. Let's say congratulations to our top 10 and before anything else, would love to say thank you so much to our top 15 queens. Let's give our queens a big round of applause. Maraming maraming salamat to our delegates. Thank you. Yes, thank you and so much. Our top right 15. now, let's welcome back on the stage your top 10. This is it. One of these beautiful faces will be crowned Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Tonight, again, congratulations to our top 10, and the competition is just heating up. Yes, congratulations, ladies, and our search for the new Miss Philippines Earth is far from over yep. because up next, these beautiful ladies will be speaking out their equally beautiful minds. Oh, that is something you definitely should not miss, so don't go anywhere. Miss Philippines Earth 2023 will be right back. Your top 10! Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Ever Belana Cosmetics. Well, it's no secret in the pageant world how eloquent Miss Philippines Earth winners are. And tonight, our top 10 delegates are poised to live up to that expectation in the next round of our competition. Now, each one will be picking a topic to expound on for 30 seconds, and once this warning chime sounds off... Ooh, magical. That means her time is up. Carla and Jamie are now with our top 10, so let's see how this would turn out. Ladies? Thank you very much, Robbie. And here beside me is our delegate from... Now I'm gonna try to pronounce this correctly. Mangatarem Pangsinan. All right, I got it. Well, Miss Mangatarem, I don't like to say choose your... Oh, I'm gonna say, choose your destiny. Community. Oh, humanity, sorry. I feel like living here, we all have humanity. And it's very important to keep pushing forward and to keep reaching our goals and to reach for success because that's how life goes and that's how you can live a happy life. Thank you. Now over to you, Jamie. Yes. All right, I have with me here our delegate of Milan, Italy, representing the Filipino community, right? All right, so pick a card and good luck. You got this. Hasha Branches. Good evening, everyone. I think that having branches across our, our Italy is really important as we have to expand our culture. And as your next Philippines Earth, I wish I could share our, our culture, our Filipino culture to everyone around the world. Thank you. Back to you, Carla. All right, Miss Sinoloan. Choose your hashtag destiny. Hashtag safety. 
Safety plays a very salient role in our lives. We have to always be secured, not only safe, but also in terms of water security, food security, because as Miss Philippines Earth, I know that I am a hardworking person and I can always incorporate this in order for us to achieve safety at all costs and protect Mother Earth the way she protects us all with all safety. Thank you. Hello, Depolog City. Please pick a card. Depolog City. My hashtag is hashtag trunk. So, Miss Philippines Earth's theme is Me Loves 2023. And the tree that I chose is the Talisay tree. And the tree has the qualities that makes me feel like I, I'm back in my childhood. And this tree, I hope that in the future, the children of the future will be able to experience the same feeling I had as a child. So let's continue to protect our trees as one together. Thank you. Congratulations, Dipolo. You did good. Right, everyone? All right, up next, we have the Filipino community from Melbourne, Australia. All right, my lovely lady, please choose a hashtag destiny. So my hashtag is hashtag roots. So actually, if you got to see the back of my dress, it actually is a replication of a tree. And I really wanted just to connect that to also my tree, the eucalyptus tree. And really, it's important that we understand the importance of our native trees in our countries. Because in the end, they provide the foundation and the support to flora and fauna. And without the roots of the trees that support them, we wouldn't have an earth this beautiful. Thank you so much. Up next, Jamie. Yes, I have here with me Miss Iloilo City, so please pick your hashtag. Good evening, everyone. My hashtag is hashtag storm. Storm is a catastrophic event that is due or caused by climate change. And climate change is one of the many factors that is affecting our planet. That is why as eco-warriors, we should practice a sustainable and an eco-friendly lifestyle. Practice the five R's. And most importantly, plant more trees that are native in our country, the Philippines, so that we can live in a more greener world because there's only one planet Earth. There's no planet B. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Ilo Ilo City. Carla. All right, I, I bet we're going to hear some big screams here, but up next is Miss Toledo City. Please choose a hashtag. Hashtag heat. One of the factors of heat is the deforestation in our country. The key solution for this is to promote sustainability in our environment, to fulfill the needs of our current generation now without compromising the needs of the future generations to come. By providing alternative solutions, let us all remember that this is our only home and that this is our only earth. And we should learn to take care of it because this is our only home. Thank you. I have with me here Miss Tagig, Vanessa Hudgens look-alike. <laughs> Please take your card. Good evening, Toledo. My hashtag is hashtag fruits. If we look at our fauna, fruits are always changing. We can resemble this to humanity. We have moments of wins, and we have moments where we lost our way. And this is why I want to urge everyone to don't wait. Don't wait for a savior because we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones who should lead our communities. Thank you so much, Miss the Gig. And finally, we have our last, but certainly not the least, oh, second to last <laughs> candidate. Here with me is Miss Puerto Princesa. Now, here you go, darling.
hashtag leaves. Leaves are part of the trees and it reminds us a lot of things. From trees, from our environment, we learn a lot of things. From the trees and the leaves, we learn that there are a season for everything. We learn that there's a season to fall, to flourish, and to just stand strong in the middle of whatever we are facing. And as trees, we should stand to save the earth as well. No matter how seasoned, we should start stand strong and take care of the earth. We learn a lot from our environment, so let's take care of our earth. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. Up back to you, Jamie. Thank you, Carla. Up next, we have Miss San Jose Nueva Ecija. So pick your card. Good evening, everyone. So my hashtag is Habitat. Our habitat is our Earth, and Earth and the resources of Earth makes life possible in, on it. They are the blessings which we do not count. When all these resources will be under threat, naturally the lives of all living organisms will be under peril. That is why as a catalyst for change, I am encouraging everyone to make actions that will help protect our environment. Because individually, we can make a difference, but our collaborative efforts will create a bigger impact in our community and in our environment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carla. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 10 points or 10 points of view from very 10 empowered women. My goodness, Jamie, this brings yes. us back, doesn't it? Oh my God, way Q &A. back for both of us, right? And you know, this time it won't be long before we meet the final five, but first we'll be handing out some special awards. Keep rooting for your bets as Miss Philippines Earth 2023 will return shortly. Brought to you by Hada Shampoo and Talata City Cebu. Back here in Toledo. Now, if you still don't have your final five picks, we'll give you more time to make up your mind as we announce the recipients of our special awards, starting with the winners of the Best in Cultural Attire. The top three winners were chosen by a special panel of judges that includes Mr. Jet Tolentino, Mr. Carrie Santiago, and Ms. Nellis Pimentel. May we call on Mr. Maynard Bonoan, Hartnet, of SGV and Co for the results. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. It's Our very reliable time. partner for many years now. I miss that guy. Especially during eviction nights. Okay, here we go. Receiving the bronze medal is... Jones Isabella Joyra Kala Kala. Our presenting the award is City Councilor Pinky Espinoza. Silver medal award goes to our lovely delegate from Tungawan, Zamboanga, Sibugay, Quenzel Daryl Alasho. Presenting the award is Miss Philippines Fire 2015 and now the Vice Mayor of Siniloan Laguna, Honorable Vice Mayor Carla Valderrama. And the gold medalist best in cultural attire is the Ball of City, Casey Falca Santos. Presenting the award is the Honorable Margie Perales, Mayor of Toledo City.
Up next are the top three best eco video winners. Each year, the delegates are asked to submit an eco video, which serves as an educational tool for people to know the environmental issues we are all facing. Awareness is key. Now, the winners were chosen by our representatives from Heirs of the World, Balikatan sa Kaunlaran, the Philippine Women's University, and Imus Institute of Science and Technology. Bagging the bronze medal is... Ilo Ilo City! Presenting the award is Honorable Verjito Vactora, the City Mayor of the Municipality of Talakag, Bukidnon. Bringing home the silver medal is... Tagig City! Presenting the award is the Honorable Congressman Jose Manuel Alba, representative of the 1st District of Bukidnon. And the gold medal goes to... Karaskan Surigao del Sur! Presenting the award is the Honorable Marjorie Perales, City Mayor of Toledo City. During the media presentation, our major sponsor, Hannah Shampoo, Bahana Shampoo, a brand committed to providing beautiful, youthful looking hair to every Filipina. They chose 10 Hana Beauties among the delegates. Now, these 10 Hana Beauties exude the essence of Hana, radiating with the confidence of an empowered Filipina with their youthful looking hair on their journey to become their best selves. Now, out of the 10 Hannah Beauties, one delegate stood out based on her performance, environmental advocacy, online votes, and of course, her effortless beauty. And because of that, to receive 50,000 pesos and a year's supply of Hannah shampoo and conditioner, Miss Hannah is... Siniloan Laguna! Presenting the award is Peerless Products Manufacturing Corporation Major Accounts Manager, Ms. Daphne Restauro. And joining her is Mr. Kaloy Bakani. Congratulations to our special awards winners. Yep. Now don't go anywhere because when we return, it's going to be the big reveal of this year's final five. That's coming your way only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. Ah, 
It's been a whirlwind of activities from the moment our delegates set foot right here in Toledo City. The sights, the sounds, and of course, the warm hospitality of the people. Yup, these made this trip an adventure of a lifetime. Now here's a look at all the memorable moments that only Toledo City can offer. Watch this. The Center for Clean and Sustainable Power Generation. Competitive trade and industry. Quality education and tourism in the west coast of Cebu with a livable, balanced, and disaster-resilient environment through an efficient and transparent governance with a God-fearing, healthy, joyful, and disciplined, vibrant community. Indulge in leisure activities. Feel the dynamic community. Dig into our local cuisines. Catch a glimpse of the sunset. Be astonished by the scenery. Experience joy like no other. This is Miss Jenny Ram, Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Welcomes you to the joyful city, Toledo City. Oh, we love Toledo City. And we will definitely miss Toledo City. And uh, on that note, we'd love to acknowledge and thank the mother of the city of Toledo, who is such a joy to work with. We've got the Honorable Mayor Marjorie Perales. Thank you so much, Mayor. We'll be back soon, for sure. And we'll also love to thank um, the organizing committee headed by Mr. Mario Colmenares. Maraming salamat po, boss, for hosting Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Daghang salamat po sa inyong tanan. And making this annual beauty for a cause event possible are no less than our executives at the Carousel Productions headed by our president, Mr. Ramon Monzon. Our Executive Vice President, Ms. Lorraine Shook. Our Vice President and Project Director, Ms. Peachy Veneracion. And a big shout out, of course, to the consultants of the Miss Earth Foundation, Ms. Catherine Untalana Vital and Ms. Karen Ibasco. Thank you so much. And now, on to the thrilling part of our competition. The judges have made their choices and it's time to reveal the five finalists. Now the remaining five delegates are automatically this year's runners-up. And Angel Santos, Miss Philippines Water 2022, will be handing out the sashes. Mr. Maynard Bonoen, once again, the partner SGV and company, is right here to give us our top five. Thank you so much, boss. Toledo, are you ready? Your top five finalists in random order. Let's do this. First up, please step forward because you're part of our final five. Siniloan Laguna, Eliana Marie. Ah, 
They're still in the running. Congratulations! Toledo City, Athena! Auxilio! Please take center stage. Mangatare Pangasinan, Kerry Riley. Joining our queens right now. Congratulations to. Puerto Princesa City, Jemima Joy, Zabala! And capping off our list in this year's Final Five is... Congratulations! Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia, Surrey, Live Orange. Five stellar Earth advocates, one of whom can become the new Miss Philippines Earth, Toledo City. Who could she be? Oh, wow. We're hearing different names, of course. We'll answer that question through another question. The final Q&A is up next when we continue after the break. Our top five in this year's Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and E. Cooter Philippines. Back here at MPE 2023. Now, how exactly do you pick a winner from these five equally stunning ladies? Tough, no? Well, this could be our determining factor. The final Q&A where the final five will be asked the same question. Each of them will be given 30 seconds to answer, and once they hear this sound, that means it's time to wrap things up. And while one delegate answers, the others will be wearing sound-canceling headphones to make sure everything is fair and square. So, headphones on, I can see, okay. And on that note, let's call in our first finalist, Siniloan Laguna. Good evening. All right. Are you ready? Okay. He, this is it. The question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? Again, the question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? Thank you. I would definitely say that our generation, although misconstrued as very ardent, I would have to say that we use our voice for a reason. And that is to always speak up for the things that we know are right and for the things that we know we deserve. That is why we are very ardent about it. And that is why I'm also conducting colloquiums in the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and their interconnectedness to the nature in hopes to precipitate people's eco-consciousness because our future is the linebackers and the pioneers of environment mental amelioration and we should always take advantage of it at all costs thank you thank you so much in the lawn laguna speaking up letting her voice be heard this time let's have our toledo city toledo city good evening 
beautiful smile as always. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, she is ready. Home turf, by the way. <laughs> the question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? As a person who has the initiative to join this pageant, to make myself environmentally aware, I feel like our generation is the start of change because I believe that our generation has the voice to do our best just to make everything right in the world. As we move to a more advanced and progressive earth, it is our duty as our Thank you. Thank you so much, Toledo City. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy to be on this stage. So the very fact our queens are here, it's a big feat already. Thank you. Up next, let's go to Mangatare Mapangasinan. Good evening. All right. Breathe in, breathe out, you're all set? All right, this is it. The final question is this. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? In this generation we live in, we have a thing called canceled where we cancel out people. And I kind of want to make a change with that. I want to spread positivity. It's all about being positive and being happy and being genuine. And I feel like, you know, the future should look at us and be like, wow, they did really good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. We should cancel, cancel culture. All right, be positive all the time. Maraming salamat. This time, let's have Puerto Princesa. He's the woman of the earth. Good evening. Joy, fun and Let me help you with that one. All right. Puerto Princesa. Okay, you feel good? Yes, she does. Okay, this is it. Final Q&A is this question. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? I think that we are the last generation. We should be the last generation to see the disasters, the negative impacts that we have in the environment. We should also be the first generation to make a solution. And I hope that we are the first generation that the next generations will see as the heroes of the earth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Puerto Princesa. All right, thank you. Do you need help? Going there? Okay, she's all good. Of course, we are the generation who doesn't want disasters to happen on the stage too. Last but not the least, we got Filipino Korean team, Melbourne, Australia. Good evening. Hello, she feels so confident on the stage. You ready? Yes, ready than ever. Re ready ka na ba? Game ka na ba? Yes, game lang. Laban, laban. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is the final question. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? They would say we are fighters. Because for too long, my generation has had our voices shunned. Especially with the climate, we have had so much anxiety thinking, will we be able to see the world the way it is for its beauty now in the future? And I'd say, those people who look down on us, they will no longer be able to see that we, we truly are fighters. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia.
Palaban, laban, laban lang. With that answer, ladies and gentlemen, once again, please put your hands together for our final five. Wonderful job, ladies. And of course, best of luck to you. It's actually up to our judges to decide who among these wonderful ladies will be representing the country in the prestigious Miss Earth pageant happening later this year. And get this, the crowning of the new Miss Philippines Earth is up next when we return. Don't go away. Teach her child every golden story. She's the woman of the earth, spreading love and joy, fun and laughter. Woman of the earth, making miracles forever after. Woman of the earth, spreading love and joy, fun and laughter. Woman of Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Ever Belena Cosmetics. You know, passing on the crown is a bittersweet moment for any beauty queen. And tonight, this remarkable young lady bids us farewell knowing that she has made this gargantuan difference for the pageant's cause. Gracing the stage for the last time as Miss Philippines Earth 2022. We present to you, Miss Jenny Ramp. It is time for me to pass my crown as Miss Philippines Earth 2022. A title full of purpose, growth, and surprises. Where I was able to advocate the importance of protecting Mother Earth through various projects like tree planting and environmental speeches. I will forever carry this journey of a lifetime with me to my successor. Never lose sight of the importance and true meaning of this title, and may you have a fruitful reign. One last thank you to my team, to my mother, to Carousel Productions, especially to Tita Lorraine and Tita Pichi, and of course to my fellow Carla Canos and Mayor Nora for the chance to carry Santa Ignacia Tarlac's name when I competed. Thank you for the privilege of being your queen. For the last time, this is Jenny Ramp, your Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Congratulations, Jenny, for an amazing year as Miss Philippines Earth. You definitely made us all proud. Oh, definitely. Handing us the results. Last time for the evening is Mr. Maynard Bono and partner SGV and company. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. The dashing Mr. Bono. <laughs> and with that, let's begin with Miss Philippines Eco Tourism. And she is. Miss Philippines Eco Tourism 2023 is Toledo City Azina Auxilio. Next elemental crown 
is for Miss Philippines Fire. May I please have the results? Thank you so much. Thank you, Robbie. I don't have the talent of opening envelopes, apparently. <laughs> and Miss Philippines Fire! What do you think it is? It's none other than Filipino community Melbourne, Australia! Shari Livori! Congratulations! And the next one is for Miss Philippines Water. Miss Philippines Water 2023 is... Miss Puerto Princesa Jemima Joy Zabala. And with that, the Toledo City goes wild! Well, I can't blame everyone. We're down to our last two ladies. And before anything else, ladies, may we invite you to please take a few steps forward. Ladies, please take a step forward. There we go. Center stage, maraming salamat. And this time, I will be announcing Miss Philippines Earth first, which means the remaining delegate gets the Miss Philippines Air title. Okay, there is no turning back. Mr. Maynard, maraming salamat. Toledo City, let's do this! Our Miss Philippines Earth 2023 is... Sinilo Laguna! Iliana Marie Aduana! Gentlemen, your elemental court and your Miss Philippines of 2023, Sinilo Laguna, Eliana Marie Aduana.
Miss Philippines Earth and her Elemental Court. And we wish you a very successful year as Earth Ambassadors. This has truly been another memorable coronation night. Pirting guapaha sa ato ang nakadaog karon. Daghang salamat kaayo kaninyong tanan. At daghang salamat sa inyong lahat. On behalf of Miss Carla Henry and Miss Jamie Harrell, thank you so much. This is Robbie Domingo. Daghang salamat to Leto City and to everyone watching. See you again next year. Good night. Philippines Earth was brought to you by Miss Earth Foundation, Kitco Travel and Tours, and Hannah Shampoo.